Hello and welcome to another episode of Tools with Tyler. Today I'm going to show you how to install the AEL LRS. What I have here is a copy of Ubuntu Desktop 12.04.5. I've ran all the updates and now I'm going to open up a terminal and make sure that I have Git installed. And now that Git is installed, I can proceed with the rest of the setup. So I'm going to change to root. Then I'm going to add another user, the ADL LRS user. First, I have to set up my shared clipboard to this virtual machine. And I'm going to switch to that user and proceed to clone the LRS repository from Git going to make a copy to this virtual machine and after that's there I'm going to enter the directory that it cloned to and then I'm going to check out the quick install branch. Now that that's checked out I'm going to exit to return back to the root user and then I'm going to change directories to the user I was just logged in as, the ADL LRS user and into the folder uh, that has all the repository files and you'll see that there is a setup lrs.sh script in there and that's what I'm going to run next and that's going to start the setup process. And as it grabs all these dependencies it's going to start to ask me different questions. Anytime it asks me for a password I'm going to type in password because that's the defaults that are set in the settings.py file that come with the lrs. This is what we like to call watching the grass grow. Hopefully those estimated times are incorrect. Currently looks like it's gonna take about 20 minutes. While we're waiting for that to install, let me tell you a little bit more about this repository. I can bring a browser over from my other screen to share with you. So this is the ADL net, ADL LRS. Here's all the files within this quick install branch. And what we're running right now is this setup LRS script. And what this does is check if the user's root. If it is, then install these following dependencies. Then install pip, which is a package manager for Python. And using pip, we'll install a virtual env. And that's kind of a wrapper for your Python application that allows you to use different packages within that virtual environment rather than installing system-wide packages. Then we set up the Postgres user in the database. So we create that user root, and it's going to ask us for a password, and that's where we type in password. And after we finish all this with root, 
it's going to tell us to run these additional steps uh, as the ADL LRS user again, which I'll give you more details on when we get there. Here's some of the instructions that I'm going through in this um, tutorial. So you remember we installed git, and then I ran these commands here. Then I changed to that directory, and I ran the setup LRS script. And then these are going to be the last four lines that we uh, type to finish the installation process. And I had referenced the settings pi file. And that's what it looks like here. So you'll see the user of the database is root and the password is password. And the setup LRS script is meant to be a convenience for setting up a development LRS. If you're interested in setting up one in a more manual way, then you can follow this install document here. And it essentially does what the script does. If you recall, we install dependencies. We installed pip, we installed virtual env with pip. These instructions have you add uh, the ADL LRS user next. Then you go through, create the database, or the user for the database, then the database. Then you clone the repository. And then this is where you would add that settings.py file. And as the ADL LRS user, then you run Fabric to set up the environment. This sets up all of the packages for the LRS. Then you activate that virtual env. And then you finish setting up the LRS. Um, that includes installing Django and some other dependencies. And that's about it. And there we go, they all downloaded and now it's unpacking them, processing and starting to set them up. So here it's asking me for the password. I'm going to type in password. And now I continue with the rest of the instructions. So I change the ADL LRS user. Then I run Fabric to set up, oops, set up the environment. Now that those are set up, I'm going to activate the virtual env. Now I'm going to run Fabric again to set up the LRS. Now it's all set. All we need to do now to run it is use Python to run the development server. 
and you'll see it's now running on localhost on port 8000. So we can open that in our browser and verify that it's running. Here we go. We have our own LRS running locally. Now, there is a current limitation to how this is set up. This is all within the virtual machine on a NATed network. Um, if we wanted to be able to access this machine on our LAN using other devices or the host machine, we're going to have to do something different in the configuration. So I'm going to run through that real quick. I'm going to press Control C to stop the server from running. I'm going to exit out of this terminal and re uh, shut down the machine because I need to make a settings change to this virtual machine. And that is going to be under the network section. I'm going to change from NAT to a bridged adapter. I'm going to start the machine up again. So I'm changing back to the ADL LRS user You'll see here I switched to root and then I switched user to ADL LRS. Optionally, you can create a password for the ADL LRS user. Um, so as root, you would type password, ADL LRS, it would prompt you for a password. Um, I did not do that for this demonstration. But what I'd like to show you now is we have a different IP address and we're going to, oops, go over here and actually install ifconfig. Sorry, I, was, I wasn't running as root, so I wasn't able to run that command a second ago. Um, but now I ran that and I grabbed the IP address and we're going to use that IP address when we're going to run the server this time. So we're going to go into that ADL LRS folder and we're going to activate that virtual environment again. And now we're going to run the server again, but there's going to be one difference. We're going to specify the IP address and the port this time. So now you'll see it's bound to this. We can open this within the virtual machine, but we can also access that outside of uh, the virtual machine on the host machine or any other device on the network. And that's about it. That's how you can set up your own instance of the ADL LRS. Uh, for doing development that you might not necessarily want to be public. If you need more information on this tutorial, um, on GitHub, under XAPI Cohorts, there is a step-by-step -step instruction with screenshots that explain how to do what I just showed you in this video. And if you have any questions, contact me. My name is Tyler Mulligan, and I'll see you guys next time.